or rather it's well charged and the other battery is well discharged and you parallel them together, you could get a humongous inrush current. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How To Ask The Expert series with Nigel and Jan. Today we're as always answering some of your questions regarding boat electrics and today's question is the following. We have a bow thruster with a 12 volt battery close by. Our alternator charges the engine start battery. To charge the bow thruster battery it needs to be paralleled in some way with the engine start battery. Should we use a paralleling relay or a battery to battery charger? What if the bow thruster battery is lithium ion? There's a lot of things There's to think about. There's quite a lot going on there. First of all, in terms of the paralleling, you don't want just a paralleling relay because then you're, there's no control over the, the voltage program at the mm -hmm. other end of the lithium ion battery if it is, truly is a lithium ion. Um, you've just got a dumb device that yeah. parallels the batteries and then you've got a lead acid battery parallel with a lithium ion battery or maybe two lead acid batteries of a different age or a different chemistry or whatever. So we want something a bit more sophisticated than that. The other issue we've got, if it truly is a lithium ion battery at one end of that circuit and it's well discharged, um, or rather it's well charged and the other battery is well discharged and you parallel them together, you could get a humongous inrush current. So we need a way to control the current flow through there, which we wouldn't necessarily look at with lead acid to lead acid. We've got now in the in the marketplace, these battery to battery chargers that I mentioned, uh, which are fairly new, we haven't had them for more than five, maybe 10 years, uh, where it's basically a DC to DC converter between yeah. two batteries, except that it's got uh, smarts built in at least one end where you yeah. can have a, a battery charging algorithm which you can program then for lead acid or AGM or wet cell or lithium ion yeah. or whatever you want. Yeah. So then that works really well. And now we've just recently got the first generation of bidirectional DC to DC chargers, battery to battery chargers, uh, where you can have programming at both ends and the current can move backwards and forwards depending on mm. which side of the equation is better charged, higher charged. Yeah. They're, they're really neat pieces of kit. Yeah. So, but in this case, you would have your starter battery as the primary at the input of yeah. the of the um, DC to DC charger and then the uh, battery in the bow at the, yeah. at the output. And it's not going to happen that it basically drains the battery by charging the other one, which is... No, it's going to... Uh, that device is basically going to go down to a milliamp draw yeah. Yeah. And, until it sees some available charging yeah. current. Yeah. They're terrific devices. And of course, we can go from 12 to 24, we can go from 12 to 48, we can yeah. go from 48 to 12. Uh, we can pretty much mix and match voltages on the boat and have an optimized charging algorithm for yeah. every battery in the, in the yeah. different systems. Yeah. Which really helps with the lifespan of any battery, yeah. so yep. especially lead acid batteries. And actually, if you want to learn more about that, as always, check out boathowto.com in our Boat Electrics 101 course, we talk a lot about charging batteries, different charging regimes, and also setups for different battery banks, like a bow thruster battery and a separate house bank and start cranking battery. So yeah, check that out if you want to learn more. And otherwise, just follow us and wait for the next video. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>